Welcome to the Gnostic Informant, and you are about to attain true Gnosis. And today I'm joined by Perfect Dawa, who I've been going back and forth with in email for a little while now. We were trying to have a conversation about Islam because uh, you have a different, different look, different worldview than I would say most mainstream YouTubers, I should say, in the in is in Islam. Like you have a more liberal, a more progressive outlook, a more optimistic view on Islam. I want to sort of talk about that a little bit. But before before you say anything, I would, I want to also say this. I just saw your conversation you were having with some scholar. I can't Doctor. Uh, what was his name? No, he wasn't. He wasn't a scholar actually. He's converted to Islam. He's a doctor. Yeah. yeah he's, he's just a doctor. doctor. Yes, he's a doctor. Uh, I, I th medical doctor. Dr. Uh, Brown. Dr. Brown. Yeah, I noticed that he was. You were asking him about some political stuff regarding mm -hmm. Islam, and he didn't. He got real, real uh, shield. Put up shield yeah. up real quick and said, "I'm out of here." And he <laughs> yeah. just had a conversation. I thought that was kind of interesting, and I want to maybe ask you about that too. But yeah, uh, introduce yourself to people who don't know who you are. Yeah, um, um, I'm. A, yes, my name. Uh, his nickname is Mojia, but. Uh, my channel is The Perfect Dawa, and um, I am a converted Muslim, and uh, I converted to Islam not because God exists, not because Prophet Muhammad was a uh, prophet of God. I converted to Islam because uh, <clears throat> I believe God sent us prophets to solve our problems, okay? And there were a lot of problems in the past, and religion solved them, uh, but uh, religion, sorry, you said religion solved them? Yes, religion solved them. Like, for example, for example, <clears throat> I can say, um, I can say more about, uh, you know, Islam, that uh, in Arabia, they were burying their daughters alive, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, forbid it, and people were not burying their daughters alive after that anymore, okay? Uh, this was one of the problems, and problem of alcohol and, uh, you know. How did Islam solve that, though? breaking up right now it's a big crime by you, broke up. you broke up for a second i said how does islam say solve that and you broke up for a second but go ahead you can I don't, no no i don't understand yeah why, why uh my wi-fi is some um, there's a problem I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes it has, it has happened <clears throat> but anyway uh uh yes i said that uh, uh how it problem uh fixed it it uh, stopped it by saying that this is forbidden. You have no right to kill your your you know your children. Okay. Well, let me ask you this then. This has happened mm -hmm. in America. There was a this was a big case. Anyone can look it up. Yeah. Uh, this was a uh, late '90s, early 2000s. Uh, a Muslim family moved over here. The, mm -hmm. the daughter was going to school. She met some people. She became you know she started to become immersed in American culture. Had American friends. Mm -hmm. and, her parents did not like the way she was dressing. They didn't like the way she was acting. Anyways, they long story short, they killed their daughter. They okay. Killed, they killed their daughter <clears throat> because <throat> she was following certain mm -hmm. protocol, certain yes. Sharia stuff. Now, mm -hmm. now, and I, I know what you're going to say. You're saying they weren't following the book. However, mm -hmm. how do you say that Islam solved the problem when we have an, a, an example of a Muslim family doing the exact opposite of what you're talking about? Okay. I'm not saying all Muslims do this either. No, I understand. Yeah, let me uh, explain for you. <clears throat> uh, uh, Nihal. <clears throat> yeah, it's okay. I call him yeah? Nihal. Uh, if you check Google, in the past twenty years, ten million girls have been killed in India before or after uh, what is it? After birth. Before or after birth. Okay, ten million girls. I can show you uh, the proof. And um, actually, I had this uh, debate last year with Harris Sultan, and he said, no, they are not doing it. Uh, they were not doing it for 1,400 years ago. And uh, it is on my channel. I have put uh, the evidences, videos that uh, two men were caught by police when they were going to bury a, a little daughter, a newborn girl, uh, you know, bury her alive. So what I'm talking about is that in the past, <clears throat> they were burying their daughters, uh, you know, in thousands or i don't know in that area but today uh, in india just in the past 20 years over 10 million girls have been 
you know, buried uh, alive, or they be those who, uh, those who, um, what is it, uh, afford ultrasound, they abort the. I, I don't know if I can share with you. Are you checking the the, the information? Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm just looking some stuff up. I'm listening. I'm listening. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I just wanted to show you, but somehow um, my uh, my browser doesn't allow me to share. Uh, you know, okay. uh, uh, you know, pages. Anyway, so um, this is, of course, these things happens one year, one their parents they kill their. That's absolutely wrong. But this is the um, not like it was that they were burying their newborn child because they didn't want these uh, you know children because they were girl because of their gender as they do today in india even today they are doing it in millions in india they're killing their children before or after birth okay so this was a problem another problem is of course um, also alcohol alcohol kills more than a million people uh, around the world, uh, but yes, please. All right, I just want to. I just want to jump in, just to ask you what. So, how does Islam solve this? Okay, um, as I said, that by forbidding it, by saying that this is for forbidden. Of course, <clears throat> it didn't solve it. Uh, uh, yeah, the the child uh, killing it solved it. Okay, it solved you, it. Uh, you headlines like this: Westernized daughter dies after being run over by father. I tell you, yeah, that's a uh, uh, that doesn't have uh, that was another case, another problem that was uh, you know solved, which was burying their daughters, uh, newborn, uh, you know, daughters alive. So this is uh, another problem. I'm not saying that Islam has solved all problems. Okay, I'm saying that that problem was solved in Arabia. Okay, let me, all, let me just jump in real quick. Yes, in in, Christ, in Christianity. Uh, Buddhism, even just not even religion, philosophy, Greek philosophy, whatever. Mm -hmm. Name any type of philosophy. They all say don't kill. They all say that. Okay. Yes, yes. So why is why is Islam saying Islam saying don't kill is better than any other? No, no, no. That's a, that's something another subject. I'm I'm just I'm saying that I'm saying that that they solved some problems. Okay, I don't say that other Christianity uh, didn't solve problems. Yes, Christianity also solved but problems. You, you, said, you said Islam solves the problem of murder by forbidding it. But mm -hmm. Islam's not the only, even not even just religion, just philosophy in general. Islam okay. is not the only worldview that's saying not that's forbidding murder. So how okay, but not I don't say that this I jump, I just say so far that they came to solve problems, okay? But it doesn't mean that they solve all problems, and it doesn't mean that only Islam says that yeah, don't kill your daughters. Of course, uh, Hinduism, Hinduism doesn't say that uh, because if it said, then uh, Indians wouldn't. <laughs> uh, Hinduism doesn't say not to murder. Uh, I don't know if if it said, then, then then Hindus wouldn't. Hinduism kill has a karma system. Yeah. It, it but what, what, why they do it? Why they do it then? I don't know. I mean, why do, why do Muslims kill people? No, uh, that that's something else. I said Muslim. That's the same thing as saying H yeah. Hindus are killing people because they're not Muslims. But I'm no, saying, no. saying Muslims are killing people. No, is it because no, no. like it's the same thing? No, look, I say uh, uh, I'm talking about sh burying your daughters alive. That's there are many different problems. Uh, I'm talking about these. Uh, is this some sort of I'm sorry, Hindu ritual that you're talking about? I'm okay. talking about that uh, if there was, uh, they instruct them that you have no right to kill your, you know, your newborn children, then they wouldn't do that. Perhaps they didn't do it. Okay. Okay. Maybe they did it, but uh, whatever. Okay. And um, uh, let's, let's, let's talk about, uh, I'm going to say that uh, religions, at least Abrahamic religions, they try to solve problems in the past. Okay. So uh, what I was going to say is that God didn't stop there that solved some problems. They, religion solved some problems, okay? I'm not saying that religion has solved all problems. But I converted to Islam because I know that Islam is going to solve all problems, not that has solved all problems. and uh, uh, But it's going to solve. It's a promise that one day we will live in a world without any injustice. It is filled with justice, and uh, that is a, a different subject that uh, 
we, we can talk about it if you would like that I say that uh, the, the source of all problems is the jungle that we are living in and the rules of the jungle, okay, which allows you to kill millions of people and become billionaires, okay? So not the, I'm not saying exactly you, of course. I'm wait, saying wait. That. So you, you think that people without Islam are just going to want to go kill people and become millionaires just because they don't <clears> have Islam? <throat> you think Islam is the only antidote to people not becoming murderous, treacherous billionaires? Okay. Now, I say that, <clears throat> I say that <clears throat> the source is this jungle and the rules of the jungle, okay? The source is that, okay? So, so when you say the jungle, you're talking about just the world without Islam. Is that what you're saying? I'm just talking about, yeah, no, I'm talking about natural the natural world. No, the natural Islam. world, yeah. The natural world that we are living in a modern jungle, okay? The, the rules is the same. The rules is the same. What about that a constitutional republic like America? We have a constitutional republic. You have your basic bill of rights, but you also have laws. You also have a uh, judicial system. That you can't just go and kill people. You can't just go and steal from people. Okay. What's, wrong, what's wrong with that? Okay. Now, the, 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 the problem with that is that there is a force, okay? There is this uh, uh, opportunity, okay, there that by... You know, by going and robbing a bank, taking hostage and so on, you can become rich, okay, millionaires. Yeah, you can right? get caught and go to jail. But yes, yes, I say that. The opportunity is there. Now, somebody take that opportunity and do it. Somebody doesn't take because it's afraid of getting caught, okay? So, uh, but the opportunity is there. I'm saying that Islam is trying to get rid of the opportunity so that you don't need at all. Let me uh, put it in this way: that in Afghanistan, farmers of Afghanistan doesn't doesn't a, a regular law code that like every country has that says no, don't rob banks isn't that sufficient enough to? Okay, all right, yes, yes. I'm 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 going to tell you. Even I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off, but I just I want to let you. No problem. No, no, it's okay. I'm gonna let you yeah. talk for yeah, it's okay. A minutes. I'm not even gonna interrupt, and then yeah, no, no, it's okay. Yeah, you can ask question. Yes, the, 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 I'm just going to tell you that uh, even in Islam, I said you broke up for a second. Again. It is haram. This right. you know, stealing is haram or forbidden, or you go to jail or do you go to hellfire because if you do this, you do that. by only saying that, it doesn't solve the problems. The source is there. You have to get rid of the source. An example I was going to give you is that farmers of Afghanistan, despite producing opium and selling it and killing people is haram, but farmers of Afghanistan, they produce 90% of the world's opium, while farmers of Sweden, uh, which most of them are secular, they don't produce a single gram of, uh, you know, any drugs, any types of drugs. Why? Because in Afghanistan, if you produce potatoes and tomatoes, you might get poor, okay? You might get, uh, you might, uh, because uh, you can sell it five, 10 cents per, per kilo, or you might not even be able to sell it at all. So what drives these farmers to produce opium is because it gives them hundreds of dollars per kilo, okay? And they can sell it 100%. It is 100% sure. So that, uh, you know, that uh, fear of be becoming poor and uh, you know, not having food to put on their table, make them guide them to produce opium instead of potatoes and tomatoes. But in Sweden, the government take care of the, the farmers, so the farmers are sure that okay, we are not, we don't need to produce uh, you know drugs, okay? Or farmers of uh, uh, Colombia, they go and in deep in the jungle and produce uh, cocaine. So I'm saying that Islam came to produce. Sorry, to to uh, Islam came to create a system where people don't need to. I'm saying like this that it is equality, okay? A world without you know rich and poor, uh, an equal world that uh, not uh, you know today one percent of the world population they own one hundred ten trillion dollars while hundreds of millions of people live on yeah. one dollar a day you're kind of getting into like socialism yeah like, yeah 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 which is fine it's just it's you know it's there's there's truth there's uh some there's something to talk about there but i got a uh, super chat 
Has Islam solved the problem of women not having four witnesses to prove she was raped so the women get stoned to death? That's a, okay. super, it's a super chat. I got I to gotta yeah. ask it. All right. Uh, um, first of all, there is no stoning in Islam. Okay. This is a, a, a fabricated hadith. All right. It is a trash hadith. And I have had debate. It is on my channel. I have had debate with scholars, okay, who cannot answer me because the hadith says that the verse of Quran is missing because, because there is no such a verse in Quran. And this is a proof that um, Quran was protected by God because the same people who put this, uh, uh, hello? Mm -hmm. All right, I don't know if I'm still live or because you disappear. Uh, wait. Neha. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, all right. Okay. I thought that uh, I was. Uh, it was a uh, mistake on my end. I lost. Uh, it. I, I thought that I was Scott. Okay. I'm now, uh, yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, just it okay. is the, the last thing you said to me before I got cut off. You said there's a hadith that says stoning is good, but it's not in the Quran. Is that what you're getting at? I, I was telling you that the okay. same people who injected this barbaric, uh, you know, act in Bible and Torah, they wanted to inject this, uh, insert this. Uh, barbaric act uh, in Quran, but they couldn't, okay? So they fabricated a hadith and said that this verse came down, but was eaten by a goat, okay? That's why it is not in Quran, but it is a command of God, which is absolutely rubbish. Uh, there is no such a command in Quran. Stoning in Quran is always from pagans. Pagans stone people to death, not uh, we are, have no right to kill even a murderer, okay, in the true Islam, because everybody have the right to repent, okay? And uh, about the witnesses, uh, if you can find a single of such a witnesses, uh, uh, it is exactly, uh, actually it is calling, uh, saying about 100 lashes, okay? And you have to bring four witnesses to prove that uh, somebody, Nehal, has committed adultery, okay? And these Four witnesses, they must co uh, complete, uh, they must uh, meet 10 conditions, which no one on this planet can say that I meet all these conditions. And I saw that Nehal was, for example, doing, uh, committing an adultery. It's because Allah, the most merciful God, doesn't want a, a, a sinner like me punish Nehal for his sin, because Nehal has the right to repent he has the right to change. Maybe today he does something wrong, but tomorrow he say, oh God, forgive me, I made a mistake, okay? So I have no right. So you're saying, because this gets into the question of Hadith and Quran. So you're, yes, saying, that we should, you're saying that Muslims should follow the Quran only and not- No, 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 this is, this is, this is something that most people uh, misunderstand me. When I say uh, this Hadith is fabricated, they think that I'm Quranist. No, I'm not Quranist, I have had, debate with uh, Quranist as well, it is on my channel, because I'm against both of them. I say we need Hadith, uh, because Hadith explain, uh, you know, rules of Quran. Hadith is not going to uh, complete Quran, okay? For example, when Quran says 100 lashes, but you have to bring four witnesses, Hadith explain that these four witnesses must meet these types of conditions that they must have never lied, they must have never stolen anything, they must have always had, uh, you know, uh, prayed, uh, never broken their prayer, never broken their fasting. So you cannot, like Jesus, peace be upon him, okay? He said, okay, you can stone, but the one who has no sin must through the first stone. So he put a condition so that people cannot stone that poor adulterers because he said, you are sinner yourself. So Islam also say, that you are sinner yourself, so you cannot punish a sinner for his sin. Because, as I said, everybody have the right. If you understand okay. Islam, then you have no right to punish anybody. Okay. okay. So what? Uh, so my, this just goes back to the question I asked you before. Yeah. How is this not common sense that we should just follow? That shouldn't be like that. Doesn't need to be told from a, a divine source. So we know stoning people is bad. We okay. Don't, why do we need? some sort of divine uh, authority to tell us this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Yes. But, but uh, my brother, you are and, the... one, one more thing. One more thing. How do you, you're saying that people, we should ignore certain hadiths that are fabricated 
and mm -hmm. accept other hadiths that aren't. How do you sort that out? Okay, uh, Quran chapter 4, one, uh, verse 80 to 83 explain, God explained that uh, those hadiths that goes against Quran are not from your Lord, okay? So uh, uh, Quran says that the hadith which is in line with Quran are from your Lord, okay? So uh, about uh, your other question. How uh, vague, that can be so vague though. Anybody can draw, like I can take a verse from the Quran and I can sort of draw my own understanding from it and then apply it to some sort of thing in the world and say, look, I got this from the Quran. Can't mm -hmm. that sort of a gray area when you say it has to come from the Quran? Do you mean like literally word for word or just draw no, no, no. concept? No. Okay. Uh, this has to come, uh, of course, it has to, we have to say, we say that, for example, this hadith is from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So it has to go back to him. The chain of narration has to go back to him. Okay. This person, this person said that Prophet Muhammad said this, but Quran says that they were, they were uh, Hippocrates around Prophet Muhammad who were saying things that Prophet Muhammad hadn't said. So to understand that this is from your Lord and Prophet Muhammad or not, then you have to match it with Quran. If it goes in line with Quran, then it is from your, uh, you know, your Prophet, your Lord. But if it that goes against Quran, for example, as I said, this, um, you know, stoning adulterer, okay, it goes against Quran, then it is not from your Lord, all right? Mm -hmm. So uh, you ask another question. Uh, I forgot about that uh, uh, you ask about uh, I forgot now. <laughs> oh, I, I said okay. So I I, I kind of have a problem with what you just said a little bit because it's like how do you know it, it came from Muhammad and and then the other thing is why does that matter if it came from Muhammad if you're not a Muslim? Look, All right. We, let's let's skip on that for a second. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The question I did ask you was why does this not common sense anyway? Why is uh, it? Uh, yeah, I remember now your question. You yeah. said that uh, we know that uh, yes, uh, stoning is bad, but my brother, 1,400 years ago, 2,000 years ago, people were doing it. It was their practice, okay? They were burying their daughters alive as well. So we need it because people were totally, uh, you don't know. I understand what you're saying by that. It was practice to bury your daughter. Who, was this was some ritual? What do you mean by that? It was practice my, uh, to bury. Okay. People, I, what I, you're saying people wanted to just bury their daughters alive for no reason at all. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm, I'm just asking. You just you you brought that up three times. Uh, uh, yeah, look, look uh, to, I, I told you that today, if you check it, in the past 20 years, 10 million girls have been killed in India because of their gender, because they don't want girls, okay? In the past also, these Arabs, they didn't want girls. Okay, they would keep one. For example, I have an aunt, okay? Uh, his, uh, her first uh, child was uh, a boy, okay? Second was a girl. Third was a girl, fourth was a girl, but she didn't want, okay? She gave birth to seven children in, you know, hope that she get another, you know, another boy. But if she, she wasn't Muslim, okay, she would definitely bury several of them or she would abort, if she had the opportunity, to, she would abort those, uh, you know, extra girls because she want another boy. So it was like this that not all girls they didn't want they, they they wanted maybe one or two but they didn't want seven girls okay so that's why they were getting rid of them even today in India they get rid of them they don't because right. you know girls for example in India okay right. let me tell you girls in India is trouble for them because when they marry uh, you know girl family must uh, provide many things they have to spend a lot of. All right, let's say let's say all that's true that they were killing their daughters, they're they burying their daughters alive, which is weird. Okay. Why would they why would they bury them alive? Why not? I mean, whatever. Why, okay, why why let, let, let me see. Assume this is true. It's a why 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 not? Why, why not? Assuming that you're right, let's say this is all but, true. But it is it is it is the fact today. I said check just I can show you. I, I wish that I could share with you. You, say, you said the way you say it, like they were burying their girls alive, like everybody was doing this thing, like it was like just like, hey, hey, how's how, how's your day going? Oh, you know, just a normal day at the at the at the shop and burying my daughter today. You know, just like you're doing, like like it's just normal. Like it doesn't sound right, but let's just for the sake of argument, let's say that was happening, right? Okay. Why, why does Islam become the antidote for that? Okay. Um, that. Okay. Why? Why I say that? Because you, uh, you said yeah. it prohibits it. But. All right. 
Why is that not common sense? That's what I'm saying. Okay, I say that uh, we have to go back to those times you said about stoning. Okay, I gave this example also, of course, together. But about stoning, you you were asking that we know. Yes, today in 21st century, we know. But 1400, 2000 years ago, when people were going to stone that adulterer, Jesus peace upon him, try to stop them. Okay, people didn't know. You say today, yeah, we know. But 2000 years ago, we didn't know people were doing that. Oh, you you committed adultery. And that was against only women, not men, because men had the right to marry how many they want. Okay. So women didn't have the right to, uh, you know, to uh, have more husband because they were property of the men. So that's why they were committing adultery and the husband. What's wrong, what's wrong with the woman deciding that she wants to sleep around? She's in her 20s. She's in college, which she wants to get around. And what if she goes out on the weekends and every mm-hmm. once in a while meets a different guy and sleeps with that guy? What was is, is that? Is that is that need to be prohibited? Like, that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, why? Oh. And I'm not saying personally, if you think that this is wrong, you should personally abstain from from uh, these actions. But why should the whole world? follow this thing and why should somebody be punished for something like that i told you that uh Neha, i said that we have no right to punish even a murderer okay the, what we have the right as a muslim this is me i was talking to a scholar who was saying that oh we stone people because we want to clear them uh you know a, a right. fundamentalist scholar i said that uh, okay it's a, because he said that we have to you know purify them because uh, so that then when they go other side, they, they don't get punished by God. I said, it's a good idea that I go and commit, you know, adultery. And then you stone me and I go to heaven. Okay. Because uh, five, 10 minutes, you kill me. And then I go to heaven like this. Why I have to, you know, pray, fasting, all these things. Anyway, we have no right to judge people and punish people. The only right judge and uh, the one who has to punish people is God. So what right we have is to, if you commit a crime, we have the right to, you know, treat you. We don't have to have even jail for murderers, okay? What, because what, what, what the, you said, the jungle, the world is a jungle without Islam. Yes. But we already, we're already doing that right now in America without Islam. Okay. We, what we, do already, you? we already say that if you throw stones at a girl for being an adulteress, that's okay. you're the criminal, not the adulteress. Okay. That's already a thing in America, okay. not just yes. America, but like. Okay. The most okay. of the world, most of the world is like this. So why yeah, but, is yeah, but yes, but you think that the problem of the jungle is only that, okay? The problem of the jungle, as I said, is that 1% of the world population, they own $110 trillion, okay? And they uh, want to become richer and richer. They try to, co- to co- attack these different countries to sell weapons everywhere, okay? It's Even in your country. Some of those Even, people are Muslims. Some of those people are Arab. Yes, some of, yes, yes. I, I, do, I don't deny it. I, no, they are not Muslim. I say that they are not Muslim because a true Muslim, okay, a true Muslim, they are a bunch of, like, my home country, Iran, okay? A bunch of mullahs are, uh, you know, rubbing the country. This, you know, the, all these terrorist activities in the Middle East is because of them, because they want to become richer and richer. They, the, the leader... Uh, he was a, a poor man. Now he's two hundred billion dollars rich. So this jungle gives him the opportunity to become billionaire by killing millions of people. So these people don't believe at all in uh, you know Islam. I have said to pe- people before that uh, they cut your hand if you steal something, but they are themselves the biggest thieves. Okay, they rob you people. Don't think, by- you don't think some? You don't think? I don't know, I'm not, not saying most Muslims are like this. This is a very small percentage of Muslims. All right, I'm just gonna throw that out there yeah, real there quick. War- warning on this one, because I'm not. Yes, yes. I'm not at all saying anything about Muslims. But do you? Are you gonna say t- to me that people like ISIS don't believe in Islam and are not Muslims? Okay, the, the followers look. Uh, this is also a deep discussion that I believe that ISIS was created by Qasem Soleimani, you know, the biggest terrorist terrorist in the world who was killed by uh, Donald Trump. Okay, okay. He's he a took, <laughs> I tell you, there are a bunch of robbers. I say that oh, well, they don't. Well, but they can still be Muslims, though. They still but, believe in Allah, right? No, they don't believe. I say, I you tell know? you, because they, you know, I say they own their own backward ideology. Their own backward ideology says that if you steal something, uh, your hands has to be chopped. Okay, they are the biggest thieves themselves. I can sh- give you a lot of proofs that 
the guy, uh, I say that it's so bad that I cannot unfortunately share screen with you, that the guy, the head of Iranian Central Bank, okay, he's with so much beer, okay, now he's in Canada with $3 billion he stole from the bank and he was in a casino. So, so why, lie. They so are why, isn't there, why isn't there an Islamic Republic out there that has a constitutional republic like a like in the West. Why? Why? How come only? How can we only see with with theocracy type like Iran, for example, Saudi Arabia, for example? How can we only see countries that <coughs> acting as if Sharia law has to be in place? Why isn't it like like you're for you, like I like your idea of Islam being progressive and trying to help help out the the poor people and yeah. trying to I like that. But why why don't we see examples of countries like that? Okay, my, my, my brother, that's a deep discussion and you need deep knowledge of, the, for example, the Middle East, that in 1953, uh, we had a democratic uh, prime minister, okay, he took the power 1950, sorry, 1951, in 1953, USA and UK made a coup d'etat against him because if he stayed in power, uh, the democracy would spread uh, in entire Middle East, entire Middle East would become, you know, uh, developed, uh, you know, and democratic uh, region, and they would lose a lot of, you know, interest. So that's why they brought him down and they put a king in power. Uh, they supported this dictator in 27 years. And then when we made revolution against that dictator, they provided us with a barbarian caveman called Ayatollah Khomeini. And even until today, they support this dictator because, because Iran is a threat to those like Saudi Arabia, like, you know, U, uh, UAE and all those countries. And the West can sell weapons to those countries, say, hey, look, this is Iran. Iran is there. Buy our weapons, okay? But isn't, and, isn't this like you're talking about the jungle? Like, this is just what people do. People have motivations to get rich and to be, you know, powerful. Yeah, that's, that, that's a jungle. Yes, I say. Yeah, you can be a Muslim and still do that stuff. Yes, yes, exactly. I say that get rid of the jungle. I say that you can be, of course, uh, you don't believe uh, you are not a true Muslim, okay? If you go and kill people, if you go that, and- That comes down to an opinion then. Like you're okay. not, it's not like, it's like at, you're, you're, you're looking after the fact and saying, well, that person's bad, so they can't be a Muslim. Only if they're a good person and they follow and they, and they treat people good, only in that case, then they can be a Muslim. But if they, if they say they're a Muslim, even if they f pray five times a day and dress accordingly to their to their dress codes and they like literally are w like a walking and talking i'm a muslim every day but as long as you think they're not good they're not muslim that doesn't make how do you no i, I say that okay i don't say that okay let me tell you like this that there are uh okay um, not um, okay, I'm not talking about people like ISIS or maybe Taliban or Iranian regime. Ordinary people, okay, they are Muslim, but they don't uh, follow Islam 100% uh, perfectly. But those who those who commit such a great crimes, of course, they are. We in Islam we call them uh, Hippocrates, okay, Monafiq in in Quran call them you know Hippocrates, and they commit uh, because in Quran in Quran they are uh, kafir okay because uh, kuf which is uh, in I don't know in uh, uh, infidel maybe uh, in English okay is not that you do you disbelieve it is a wrong uh, interpretation uh, kuf in Islam is bad deed okay so when you do a bad deed because Allah says that I only guide you to good deeds and prevent you from immorality. So when you uh, do bad deeds, you go against his rules, his demand, okay? So it depends on how bad, big is your bad deeds, okay? So Allah says that I forgive your minor bad deeds if you avoid major bad deeds, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I don't know if you have any question about that. Yeah, a lot, a lot of questions because first of all, how do you know, like, this is this is a if, if if you're saying Allah is what guides people to good deeds, then why are people doing why are people even allowed to do bad deeds? And it's all right, okay. Yes, I, I, the real question I, is though, mm -hmm. why like does it why does it have to be good deeds don't have to come from being a Muslim? 
Okay. No, 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 no. Pagan no, no. do good deeds. I, I mean, okay. Understand. Okay. Let me tell you. Let I, got, me tell I got a super chat real quick. I'm mean, just jumping. Oh, yes, yes. uh, GI, enjoy your channel, brother. I think it's worth asking Perfect Dawa about his support for the MEK, described as both cult and terrorist. I don't know if that. Okay. Means. All right. Uh, I would like to actually. Uh, what is it? Uh, this was uh, when I was having uh, this debate with um, uh, um, AP. Opposite prophet, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Susanna, she also uh, came up and asked this question. And opposite prophet, uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm asking him to have a new debate with me because he's running away, unfortunately. Okay. Because within two days, opposite prophet from 18 of November that I had a debate with him uh, on his channel, and Susanna wrote him that I support a terrorist organization. Okay. Until 20 November 20, he came to this conclusion within two days that MEK is a terrorist uh, cult. Okay, and I would like to because uh, I would like to show that all his decision about 1400 years ago, when he cannot understand something 21st century that I am alive, you just look at this super chat without asking me what this person says. Okay, MEK is the biggest enemy of Iranian fascist regime, okay? And Iranian fascist regime, like uh, <clears throat> like Adolf Hitler was saying that partisans are terrorists, okay? All these dictators, they say our uh, enemies are terrorists because we fight these dictators, okay? And uh, you know this Sir David Emmes, Sir David Emmes who was killed few, uh, I think one month ago, a terrorist killed him in, in London, okay? He was a great man. He was one of the greatest supporters of MEK. Thousands of politicians. You know John McCain. You know John McCain. That's fine with all the examples, but what's the point? What do you? What's the point you're getting at? No, what? I just wanted to say that these people, they just, uh, you know, they just talk. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, and I, I want, that's yeah. not important then. That's yes, yes. What we were saying so, and the, the real. I keep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I let, let me say, Nihal. Big Nihal, you, this. Yeah, yeah, Nihal, you not, let me just say yeah, this. What yeah, are we yeah, not yeah. doing? What are we not yeah. doing right now? In okay. the West, not even just the West, in most of the most of the world, most mm -hmm. of the civilized world, what are we not doing that Islam can bring to the table to fix? Okay, it? all right. Uh, you asked me also that why st uh, people uh, still do bad deeds is because I said to you that Islam tells us the source of all bad deeds is one, is not only Islam, of course, Abrahamic religion is the devil, the Satan. Okay. Who but, created the devil? Okay, let me tell you now. But Islam explained for us in different way that who is the devil? The devil is the, the jungle and the rules of the jungle. Let me tell you directly, it's the capitalism. Okay? So why can't, why can't Allah just kill the devil right now? Okay, there is no devil like that, I say. Capitalism is a system, okay? Uh, you cannot kill capitalism. Capitalism is uh, the devil. And God, Allah wants us to get rid of this devil, this, uh, you know, capitalist system and live equal, share everything with each other. As I said, that this system allows 1% of the world population to uh, own $110 trillion and spread poverty among hundreds of millions of people who live on $1 or $2 a day. And they have to also do all bad deeds like prostitution, selling right. drugs. So this this gets into economics because you're not under this is a you're, you're giving a very basic and not very really educated approach to this because the market is what gets everything going the market okay. creates jobs the market's what creates progress I'm not saying capitalism is perfect and great I'm sure there's there's tons of so like there there's things that you need socialist ideas for like building roads okay. and police forces hospitals mm -hmm. all that stuff but I'm also saying uh, we have a mixed economy right now okay that seems to be not perfect, but you okay. can't say capitalism is bad or socialism oh. is bad. We need to go <coughs> one side to the other. That's okay. a really un, that's a really uneducated and sort of a, a bad okay. approach to a really complex. Oh. And you should talk to ec economists about this. I went to school oh. for economics, so I know a little bit, but I'm not an expert. Oh. But I'm oh. telling you right now, what you're saying okay. is just completely like <coughs> for the moons. A capitalism is the devil. It okay. just doesn't make sense. All right, that, that's, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's what uh, uh, Islam teaches me. Okay, now let me tell you, 
you said we have a mixed economy okay in sweden also we have a mixed economy it's called welfare we call it social democracy okay yeah there's nothing wrong with welfare you need all right welfare. okay now let me tell you okay <clears throat> here they realize that pure capitalism is evil is you know is uh, terrible it's uh, the pure jungle so that's why they mix it with socialism to make it more uh, you know human <clears throat> okay so they brought this this gap closer so by closing the gap a little bit it became more human system i agree with that i don't say that it is wrong okay but it is not perfect so let's close the gap totally it become perfect because when okay. some... there's always going to be necessary progress so okay. that's, what, that's that's my problem with religion in general religion tries to say we had this book if you follow this book everything will be perfect the mm -hmm. problem is when you have a theocracy like that you stop progressing over time because the world changes people change society changes we mm -hmm. have a need for progress progressiveness all the time so okay. you say we have a book, it's perfect. We just follow this book, everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. The history has proven the opposite. History okay. has proven that when you have when you try to follow, when you try to lead society with a book or religion, and, and like like a lot of criticism for science is that 10 years from now, a science book is gonna be different than a science book today. That's actually the strength of science. Okay. Things need to change. Okay. That's what that and that's what I'm getting at. Is like, how do you okay. have a book, especially the Quran? No offense. The Quran mm -hmm. is basically just, I mean, it's to, 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 in my opinion, I've read it a couple of times. It's <coughs> it doesn't offer anything that I see would be uh, good for long term success of a uh, of the world. Like it just says, you know, it just has like remember Moses, remember Jesus, remember this. Remember. I'm not saying it's horrible, but it's like if that's all you have is the Quran, I'm not. I don't see how that's going to be good for society. All right, I'm saying as an individual though. If you want to follow the Quran as an individual with your family and you think it makes your life better, I'm all for that. I'm not going to mm -hmm. tell you not to do that. Okay. I'm just saying when we come on and talk, when we talk about integrating the religion with everyone should do this, that's where I get in and say, I don't think it's a good idea. That's mm -hmm. all. All right. Uh, let me uh, put it in this way. First of all, uh, <clears throat> God uh, promised us uh, it is not only those you know rules. God promises, uh, uh, promises us that uh, there one day, okay, one day it's gonna happen, okay, that the world will be uh, filled with justice. All injustice will disappear. That's the promise of God. So uh, now about uh, capitalism, you accepted maybe, I hope that you accepted that pure capitalism is devil, okay, is terrible. That's why we came to this idea that, uh, okay, I let's accepted that pure capitalism is devil. So why I've accepted that pure capitalism with no like no laws, everybody do your own thing, and you just you know mm -hmm. everyone can just do whatever they want, and the the the, the strong or, or, or the dog eat dog okay. world that's bad, that's not good. But I'm not saying it's devil. Like I'm not saying okay. I'm not going to apply a religious okay. a religious tone to it. It just says mm -hmm. that's what we that, that's the wild wild west. We don't want that. We want some sort of uh, order. We need some sort of social socialist mm -hmm. order a little bit not not saying we should go full-blown communist but i'm saying mm -hmm. i get what you're saying but it's not the devil you don't understand okay. like, that's where that, right. that's where you lose me when you say stuff mm -hmm. like that. okay so this is what i say that uh, what i believe and understand that the devil is uh, nothing but the capitalism okay and god wants us to get rid of that devil and live equal share everything isn't, with each other muhammad a, a merchant okay uh that's a uh, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, uh, Islam came to make this uh, capitalism happens. Uh, sorry, this uh, equality happens 1400 years ago or even today. It might take thousands of years from but, now. But if, Mo if Mohammed's a merchant, he's yeah. contributing uh, capitalism. How, uh, is no. he, how is he the highest profit? The profit okay. of high? if All right. Capitalism is the devil. Why, okay. was, why is a merchant the highest profit? All right, look, first of all, he was a merchant before he became a prophet. Secondly, uh, uh, yes. Still, why would, why would God choose a merchant if okay. capitalism is the devil? All right, I, I just tell you that even I, despite I hate the, this devil, his capitalism, I also have to survive because I cannot, uh, you know, live uh, free, uh, sorry, um, you know, like... Uh, not making because i know that the the source of all bad deeds is this uh, 
you know, system. But I have to work and get money. I have to also gather money for surviving. So it doesn't mean that I accept it, okay? There are certain things that you have to accept for now, okay? For example, in Islam, we have this charity. We have many other things like this, okay? But in that true Islamic world, we so don't need that. Give me a Quran verse that says something about fixing capitalism. Okay, it doesn't say, I, I, I say that, it doesn't say uh, capitalism. It's a uh, talk about that there will be a, a time <clears throat> in Islam, in Quran, we have oppressed and oppressor, okay? So it says that I promise that one day the oppressed will rule and inherit the planet, okay? So oppressed and oppressor. So oppressed are these. One day they come and right. rule the planet. Okay. Let's, so go back history. Let's go back into history right now. Okay. Okay. The 18th century, we saw the American Revolution and the and the uh, French Revolution swept across the world. We went from uh, the Holy Roman Empire and monarchy and mm -hmm. theocracy to liberal constitutions from Europe and in America, where you have your rights. And these are inalienable, inalienable rights that nobody can take from you. Why is that? How, what what does Islam have to do with that? Nothing. So why? What my get my question is, what are we not doing right now that Islam is could have done in the year six twenty five that we hasn't done already? Like what 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 could possibly be Islam could do in, in the year 20, 2021, 2022? What could it possibly have to bring to the table to the world that we're not already aiming towards? As, uh, as secularist. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, today we are uh, killing each other. We are robbing each other. For example, uh, tobacco kills 5 million people every year. 33 nuclear bomb, Hiroshima nuclear bomb is dropping on 33 cities every year and killing 5 million people. And Islam can finish this, only yeah. this one. Okay. Yeah. How? To get rid of, I said, to get rid of this uh, jungle rule. That How did Islam do that, though? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining. To get rid of these rules of the jungle, that if you sell tobacco uh, and kill 5 million people, you become billionaires, okay? So, right. yes, so get rid of this system. People, all these uh, tobacco companies, when they cannot sell cigarettes, they will close down tomorrow, I guarantee you. Uh, all those uh, farmers of Afghanistan, they will not produce a single gram of, uh, 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 what is it, opium if we get rid of this system and they live equal. They don't need to produce, you know, uh, drugs. So the source is that. Uh, let's say, uh, for example, uh, uh, Nehan, you have a diamond uh, in, uh, at your home, which is $20 million dollars. Millions of people around the world would like to come there and even kill you to take that diamond. Okay, but if we get rid of this system, which is uh, which gives that diamond twenty million dollars, the the worth, and it becomes zero dollar. What do you mean by get rid of that system? And 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 two, what is Islam doing to get rid of that system? And I tell I told you that Islam wants that we live in a world where money doesn't exist. Okay, we share everything with each other equal. And the, the, the proof is the proof. Where, where does it the, sit in the Quran? Okay. The Mecca. When we go in Mecca, what we dress, we dress equal. Uh, the dress has what about to be... Pagans? What about pagans? Are they, do they have the same rights as Muslims? Yes. Everybody have the, the, the same right. But the thing is that that's why uh, God says that it is two choices. Either you want to live in this jungle uh, with this, uh, you know, uh, you accept this jungle that people get killed, people die from hunger, or you want to live in a human world. That's your choice, of course. But if you choose this world, God says that I will, uh, you know, punish you. Okay, I'm not going to punish you, but God says that I will punish you. So uh, you have the choice that uh, oh. if you want to call yourself human being, then you have to say that, yes, I want to live in a world where nobody gets all right, so we're supposed to follow the Quran. This is going to make everything better, and we're going to get rid of capitalism. So a verse like 9-5 that says, but when the forbidden four months are past, then fight and slay the pagans wherever you find them, and seize okay. them, belogger them, and lie in wait and stratagem of war 
But if they repent and establish regular prayers and practice regular charity, they mm-hmm. open the way for them, for Allah is off most merciful. Okay. If, if one amongst the pagans asks thee for asylum, granted. Okay. So, okay. so give me the chapter. Wait, uh, chapter what was that? It is nine five. Quran <clears throat> nine five. Okay. <clears throat> Got my little copy right here too. Mm-hmm. Okay. But so and, and so I, I'm gonna I read the whole thing for okay. a reason because I know people are gonna say you're taking out of context. It's, what does it okay. say after that? I okay. read what it says after that. It says if the pagans repent to give them what they want. But okay. why should pagans have to repent? Why is that? Okay, no, wait, does that wait, make wait. equality in the world? Wait, How wait, does that get rid of the jungle? That's what I'm asking. That's for okay. Uh, when I'll read it right now. I have it right here. It's no, I'm, I'm reading. Okay, nine, I'm, repent. I know that. I have read it. When the forbidden months have passed, kill the polytheists okay. who are at war with you wherever you find them. Take them captive and besiege them, and lie in wait for them at every place of ambush. And mm-hmm. I'll keep reading because if someone's going to say, you're taking that out of context, fine. Yes. But if they repent and take prayer regularly, mm-hmm. pay them alms, let them go their way. God okay. is forgiving and merciful. Oh, how wonderful is oh. that? Let the If the pagans repent, if they repent, but what if they don't? Okay. You talked about right. equality. You talked about mm-hmm. equality for everybody, no matter what. What mm-hmm. if I, What if a Norse pagan for... Thousand generations, they were always pagan. That's their, that's their in their family. That's what they, that's who they are as people. Okay. They don't want to be Muslim. What, what do you do? You have to slay them. That's what it says. But okay. if they repent, then you give them alms. How is that equality? Uh, okay, look. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I have to uh, tell you that it is uh, about those who attack you. Okay, it's always about that. And if you continue uh, to uh, wait, chapter uh, 9, 6, okay, and uh, <clears throat> if they seek protection, okay, O Prophet, grant, grant it to them, okay, so it's they may... If they repent, though. It's no, just... no, uh, later, I have to say that. You have to if they repent, yes, and okay, prayer, and take prayer regularly, they have to do this, Okay. The alms, they have to pay the oh. alms. Okay. Then <laughs> let them go their way. Yes. No. It it's, say, yes. To do that in the beginning, it says they yes. ambush them. All right. But the, uh, look, uh, the the what is it? Uh, Quran chapter three verse seven explain. Uh, you know uh, how you have to interpret unspecific verses of Quran. You have to put them beside other verses of Quran so that you understand it. It is out of context. So when you continue and read, later says that if they seek, uh, uh, ask for protection, yeah, you have to grant them. Uh, uh, I just to them. said that though. So I they may the hear thing. your words. So they may hear the word of Allah. Then, but why do people have to do that though? Why can't they just? Why can't you just give them repent. protection anyway? Why do you have to ambush? No, this is this is no. Uh, wait, uh, have a uh, treaty with you, Allah, his messenger, except those you have made a treaty. So it says that uh, how can such polyesthetists have a treaty with Allah and his messenger, except those you have made a treaty with at uh, the uh, sacred uh, mosque? So as long as they are true to you, so it means that as long as they don't fight, be true to them. Indeed, Allah loves those who are merciful, you know, of him. So if you continue, you see that in many other verses as well, it's as long as they fight, uh, you know, and it's there not, was a treaty. Right. And not, there was a treaty. No, go, go read, for, continue. Read the whole entire chapter. Yeah, seven, seven, nine, seven. Nine, go five. On. You want me to go to, you want me to, go to nine, yeah. seven? The next no, one? nine, seven. Go how to can, continue. Not, how can there be a treaty with the polytheist? on the part of God and his messenger, except for those with whom you in- entered into the sacred mosque. As long as they act straight with you, act straight with them. It's basically saying you have conditions that they have to follow to be good to them. They have to do these things. They have to repent for being polytheist. They have to pray. They have to give alms. Then you can be good to them. No, otherwise, no, no. Otherwise, it says, take mm-hmm. them captive and besiege them. It says yeah. it literally word for word. Yes, let me tell you. It is, uh, there are so many other verses, as I said, that uh, there was a treaty between them, okay, uh, 10 years uh, ceasefire, 
and where uh, between pagans and uh, Jews and Prophet well, Muhammad. How dated that? Why okay. should I use it for today? If this is about a treaty from 600 AD, then why okay. should we use it today? That's what you but just no, said. Okay, yes, yes. Look, 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 uh, Neha, I don't say that uh, this is also today if Adolf Hitler attack you, yes, you have to go and kill Nazi Germans wherever you find them. But if they, you know, stop fighting you, Allah says that stop fighting because Allah does not like those who, uh, you know, continue the fight, okay? So as long as they fight, this can be used anytime, okay? These uh, verses of Quran. But you have no right to go and kill people just because of their beliefs. This is, uh, uh, there is no, uh, you know, there is no, uh, uh, compulsion no, in religion. So you're saying that it, I'm, I'm, I must be hallucinating what I'm reading, where it says, "Kill the polytheists wherever mm -hmm. you find them, take them captive." I'm, am I hallucinating right now? I'm just okay. Saying as I, as I said, uh, as I said that it is about you know, uh, the, you have to put them in the context and see the entire Quran. Put them beside other verses, even number seven, <clears throat> that. This is talking. Go. This is talking about those those uh, Mecca, uh, you know, pagans who were attacking Muslims. Okay. All right, well, here and we then, go. Let's keep going. Let's keep. Let's get the context yeah, right. Let's get yeah, the context right. Yeah, let you me just, tell you. You just pointed out to me. Let me just say something real quick. You just yeah. pointed out to me that it says, okay, you're talking about a peace treaty that happened in 600 A.D. Okay. Yeah. So if you keep reading, it says that if they if they repent and if they are nice and we'll be nice to them too. Fine. Then it says, but. If they break their faith after pledging it and reviled, Which one? This, is, Which one? this is verse number 12. If they, number 12. If they break faith after pledging it and revile your religion, then fight these leaders of unbelief so that they may desist, for they have no regard for their pledged word. Okay. It's telling you to fight people that don't... Okay, if they, they break their oaths, their promise, okay? Why does that matter? Why okay? does that matter? But they break, they attack you. you. Everybody should be free and have no, equality. No, no, no. no, it's about... Look, it is about attacking you, okay? It's, uh, as I said, that, do you know about this uh, history of Islam? No, you, you can't have it both. Do you know? Do you know about... Do you know? Do you know about the history of Islam? I know it. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me see this. This is, because this is what you're getting. I already know what you're getting. You, it takes you a long time to get to a, a real simple point. You're All saying right. they made a peace treaty in this time period, when this was written, there was yes. a peace treaty between the polytheist Arabs and the Muslim Arabs. Okay, so if that's being said, if if let's say you're right, this is all about a peace treaty. This is not mm -hmm. about today. Then okay. why should I follow this if it's outdated? What does okay. it have to do with today? All right, uh, as I said, that uh, this is uh, these types of uh, verses can be used when Adolf Hitler attack you. Okay, if it attack a Muslim nation then you have to defend yourself and fight as long as Adolf Hitler That's fight fine. you, okay? But uh, it says, it teaches us, when you capture them, okay, you have to be nice to them, you have to treat them well, okay, you have no That's right to kill. Common sense, though. We, we do that anyway. We do okay. that. All right, let me, yes, yes, yes. We, um, okay. For the most part, we have the law system in place. That was yeah. So we were not doing it 1400 years, 2000 years ago. But anyway, let me, uh, before, 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 Gen yeah, before, that did yeah, that? No, no, before Geneva Convention, we were not doing it. We were killing, uh, you know, uh, the, this, but anyway, uh, if you know that there was a treaty, 10 year ceasefire with Prophet Muhammad and uh, the pagans and the Jews, and when he wrote this treaty with them, Prophet Muhammad said, now we are a united Ummah. And Ummah, everybody knows, in, uh, every Muslim know what that Ummah means. Even pagans were a united Ummah. And Muslims didn't have the right to kill or attack a single pagan during that time. They were preaching to them and made most of them Muslim, okay? Uh, until they broke the treaty, then they attacked uh, Muslims. I just asked you that, though. Why does that treaty have to, I mean, you're talking about we should apply it to Hitler. But why do you need this to do that? Why can't we just understand that treaties are good, don't okay. go the treaty, and why okay. do you, if you don't understand it? Yeah. Why, would you, why would the Quran have to tell you to kill polytheists? If, okay. it, if it's just an outdated thing, but why should it apply to now? Is what I'm getting at. You have an okay. Answer. This is yeah. This is the different between uh, 
uh, you know, um, somebody like me and ISIS, okay? They think that it means that all, uh, you know, pagans, that you have to go even today and kill uh, pagans, but, so but it is not. You just, established, not. you just established that this caused people to okay. take it the wrong way. I'm not saying that you're wrong and they're right, okay. but okay. they did this because of what it says. They okay. think that people like ISIS think that because it says Surah 9-5, that they okay. have the right to go and blow up images of the Buddha in okay. certain parts of the world and just go along and just slay people because they're pagans. Mm -hmm. But you're saying they just misunderstand the text. But the okay. text is there and it causes this to happen. Okay. So regardless of what you think they should have did, this is okay. what happened, period. All right. Yes, uh, I understand. But uh, it happens uh, with uh, other texts as well. Okay? Absolutely. That's why I don't think anybody should follow a text to be. Uh, no, but the, the, the thing is that the thing is that I say the source of all these problems is one, and that text is trying to guide us to a world that people are not going to abuse text or even color. They even abuse color people's, you so know, you're race. Talking about in, secularists. No, Secular. no. I say that they even How abuse. They abuse. They abuse nationalism. They abuse, you know, anything to get rich. Okay, if religion is not there then they abuse something else because that source teaches, uh, that source make them to, you know, abuse anything they can to become richer, so more you, powerful. You gonna, so you think that theocracy has done a better job than than secular constitutional republics and democracies? Theocracy? What do you mean with theocracy? You're saying if they, if they don't have religion, they're going to do other things. That's what you just said. No, I'm saying that, uh, I'm saying that the, the source, which I was saying that is the capitalism, gives people this uh, uh, opportunity to become rich by anything, by color, by, uh, you know, by nationality, by, by language, even language. Yeah? Many co conflicts happens because of language, because somebody wants to become, you know, richer and, uh, you know, fool, uh, fool people to, again, you know. Again, so you, there you, are you, many things. Capitalism is the devil, but I, I've, I've been asking you, what does the Quran do to fix capitalism? What, like, give me a I, verse. I, I, yes, I told you that. Uh, I told you that this we stand every day uh, so towards think, Mecca. So you think people should be good, and, and yeah. I agree with that. People should be good. But yes, but they, but, but there is a the source. Think the, I think the moral of the story is you don't need a book to tell you that. Okay, but there, there is a if, yes. if, if Islam makes you a better person and it, it gives you fulfillment in your life, I'm not telling you not to be a Muslim. You okay. should. If it, in fact, if it does do that for you, you should do it. Yes. This is this is the difference <clears throat> between telling us or trying to guide society with a religious worldview than practicing it in the personal, my personal space and with my own understanding and being peaceful. And mm -hmm. that's what I'm getting at. It's like, yeah. I, I don't think I disagree with you is that we should have, we should try to fix the, evils of capitalism whatever that means but it's like i'm not sh I'm, I'm not understanding why you think islam is the antidote for all that all and right. and then we're, we're kind of going in circles so but i'm just gonna let you uh i'm gonna let you like give a, a little final thing on why you all think right. islam is mm -hmm. the, the antidote Go ahead. all right all right so, so uh, um i said that islam tells us to stand towards mecca okay five times a day and ask him show me the right way okay the right way is those dress, which I told you that is equality, okay? We are all equal. We have to go there once a lifetime and say to God, dress equal, experience it, and say that I accept it. And then we have to reject the opposite of it, which is capitalism. And the symbol of that is the devil. We have to reject it and say to God that I'm going to, you know, fight for this equality and bring it to the world. So we prostrate to that equality. This is what fact you wanted from Islam. And I gave you the fact that there we are all equal, no rich, no poor. You cannot even, uh, you know, uh, decide that uh, your those two dress, okay, which uh, it's not a dress, two, two piece of uh, uh, garment, which is the, uh, the material has to be cotton and the color has to be white. You cannot wear jewelry because nobody has to be uh, rich or poor there. So this is, and then- You think that should be a dress code now? Is that what you're saying? No, no, not the dress code. Is I'm saying that there, that's the symbol of equality. Okay, right. But why saying, is that? That's just, that's ridiculous, though. Make people people should dress a certain way so that everyone. No, no, no. It is just there. You can you have to dress equal, 
and uh, experience the equality. It doesn't mean that when you come out, you have to dress, uh, you know, everybody have to dress the same. No, it doesn't mean that. But the, uh, the meaning, the interpretation, the understanding of it, as I said, that the, when the opposite of equality is uh, the devil, which is inequal, okay, inequality, then means that the source of all this problem is that inequality, and we have to get rid because we reject it. And God wants us to get rid of that. And I have explained for you all these times that those who sell tobacco and kill 5 million people is because they want to become rich. If you get rid of this system, they will close down tomorrow. They will not produce a single packet of cigarette. Okay. So uh, and what, what would you do to get rid of them? Would you round them all up and kill, cut their heads no. off or put them no, in? No, no, no. This is things. How do you just do it overnight? How do you just all right. No, I'm not. I did I, who said that overnight? I said from beginning, it might take thousands of years. God waited billions that's of years. What I'm saying is that we are, as a human civilization, we have been inching towards better progressive ideas. Yes, good, when, you yes. say, when you say we should follow a book, you're basically okay. saying this book has all the answers. Nothing else matters. I'm saying all, all the problems that you're addressing are already being addressed by secular, by science, no. by, by progress, mm -hmm. not being religious, but being okay. progressive. I, I imagine to be progressive. All right. The, the only one that has addressed this is Marxism. The only one. No. That has addressed it. That they also say that the source of all problem is the capitalist system, and they want to. But the problem, the difference is between. I get, I get what you're saying. That Marxism is Marx. Karl Marx is sort of like the face of the, uh, you know, the bourgeoisie. Is you know, like he had he was the one who pretty much addressed the problems and the evils of capitalism. But he really him. If you re, if you compare him to like Adam Smith, they're actually not that far apart. They both understood the. Uh, <laughs> The, mm -hmm. the uh the dynamic of industrial revolution and mm -hmm. and capitalism and uh the, the the labor market they both address these things they're yeah. not it's not just marxism there's other it's it's not as simple as you think it's really it's so this is a complicated issue we should have yeah, like okay. economists on talking about this stuff but like but yeah no listen this has been fun man and i just yeah. like i like to have you i like to talk to people you know and get their understanding of things and yeah, you know, that's great. Yeah. I wanted to challenge your ideas, and I, I think you're you're a good sport, man. It's, it's thank you. To to you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. But, uh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, definitely going to do this again sometime. But yes, uh, yes. that's great. And there, are, there, there are many uh, misunderstandings that I would like to later. Yeah, we can talk. Uh, you know, and I have um, had uh, you know a lot of problems with my fellow Muslims because they are also uh, you know I would love to. Uh, um, somehow debate uh, somebody like this, um, you know, Haggagha uh, Jew, to show how uneducated they are in Islam, and they misrepresent Islam. And um, unfortunately, they all of them, they hide themselves. Uh, I've been banned from this EF Dawa and Sapien Institute, you know, all of them. They, they block me because they say, my idea, uh, my ideas are problematic, okay? Oh. Uh, you say that you are gladiators of Islam, so how can how can you not you know confront me, uh, show that I'm wrong? Okay, so th it shows that they they have lack of knowledge. That's why they they run away, they hide. Uh, you know, well, I think it's good that people like you are speaking out and trying to sort of steer the ship in a better area, a pro more progressive mentality. Mm -hmm. I do. I would challenge you on this. I, I think you should. Do a little more research on economic stuff like capitalism and socialism. It's not as black. I have done it many years. Have. I'm just saying, I, I think it's not as, I, I saying capitalism is the devil. I mean, I, I get Okay. What, I okay. Get let me tell you. But the problem is that you don't believe in, uh, you know, religion, uh, like, for example, the concept of Satan. Okay. So when I ask these, uh, you know, believers, who is Satan? They say Satan is a falling angel or in Islam. Uh, a gin, okay, and he's the one who fool us. I say, how he does it? They say he whisper in our head, okay. I don't know if you have heard this or not. How he does right. it? They say that he whisper. Well, like I said to you before, if if Muhammad is a merchant, that means okay. he's selling and trading goods. I mean, okay. he's a capitalist. Okay, that makes I, no sense. Yeah. That the devil is the is capitalism. But well, I yes, I, I I'm, I'm going to explain you. 
I'm but, going to explain well, I'll let you. you explain it and just do it just try to be quick, please. Go ahead. All right, yes, yes. I'm just going to explain it. Uh, I said, as I said, that I'm also, despite I don't like it, but I have to survive. I'm also going by the uh, you know, uh, what is it? Um, by these rules, the rules of the jungle, okay. But of course, I am trying not to be uh, you know, I'm not going to uh, do what everybody else do. Uh, not everybody else, of course, many people do. Uh, to become rich by killing others and so on. So I was going to say that if uh, Satan is the one who whisper in our head, okay, to do bad deeds, okay. So I gave you that example of the diamond in your, uh, you know, flat or house, you are living $20 million. If we get rid of this capitalist system and money doesn't exist, that diamond costs $0, okay. No Satan can whisper in my head that go to, USA travel there, go and kill uh, Nehan and steal that that piece of stone. But people okay? are always going to want something, whether it's money, whether it's food, whether it's a. Car, but they, they whether, can't get it. No, it, it is matter. free. It is free. You can go and get it. And Nobody just, stop you. If you can just make things free, it would happen by now. It'd be done. Okay. It doesn't work that <laughs> way. You have to go. Like if you want oil, right? You have to okay. go and get it out of the ground. That means yeah. you have to pay somebody to do it for you to do the work. And then they have only a certain amount of that oil. So okay. only a certain amount of people who have the wealth to trade for it get it. Okay. It's not that simple. You can't just say, everything's free. Yay. It doesn't uh, work okay. that way. It'd okay. be great if it doesn't work that way. Uh, all right. Maybe, but, in uh, future, maybe in the future, we can figure out a way to have an uh, infinite amount of resources. But I just don't see it happening anytime soon. And I don't think it has anything to do with religion or with Satan or the devil. It's just the way it is, and we're in the world, in the secular world, is addressing these things. All right, one, one more thing I say. All so right. you say that we are condemned to live in this jungle, and we always will live in this jungle. But Islam tells me that there is a way out, and one day we will live in a beautiful world, no bad deeds, everything is perfect, everybody love one another and share everything with each other. That's the, the final word I was going to tell you. That's the difference. And, okay. And you have just attained true gnosis. Mm-hmm. <laughs>